welcome back to the channel fragrance journey hopefully everybody's having a blessed day hopefully everybody has a blessed week coming up hopefully everybody's safe today we're going to be speaking on a house that i've been wanting to get into but for some reason i hesitated now that i've gotten a fragrance from the house i'm kind of mad that i didn't pull the trigger or pass on a couple of my past purchases and grab some from this house the fragrance i'm talking about is from Insar Oud, and this is EO1 number one. If you watch the channel, you know I'm definitely into the Oud fragrances, um, definitely more animalic, darker type fragrances. This definitely is up there as far as that goes. This is built on a base of, of ambergris. This isn't done, I guess, with ethanol alcohol. This is done on a base of uh, ambergris tincture, which is very unique to use in a fragrance. It definitely makes the price go up on the fragrance as far as the price. Uh, that's one reason why it costs so much. Uh, this features notes of rosewood, lavender, uh, sandwood, hopefully I said that right, nutmeg, castorium. It's got Thai, croissant. It's got Himalayan, Turkish, French, and Edward Rose, jasmine, tolu balsam, civet, wild age, Assamese oud, ambergris, sandalwood, tobacco, vanilla, tree moss, and Ethiopian frankincense. This, when I initially sprayed it, I smelled the oud. The oud to me is not on the barnyard side. It's a dark, very woody type oud. It's not on the barnyard animalic type. Uh, tip, but it also has castorium and civet, which um, I really enjoyed in the fragrance. It's got some beautiful floral aspects to it. Beautiful. I mean, the lavender, the rosewood, the the. It's got like four different types of roses. It's got Himalayan, Turkish, French, and Edward rose. Uh, you get a little bit of the jasmine. The thing that really makes this go to me is the tobacco. On top of that, the oud and the tobacco and the animalic notes to me almost bring out a leathery type vibe. So you almost get like a leathery tobacco with woods. Um, the performance on my skin is, is, is great. I, I get I get maybe seven or eight hours. I mean, that's pretty much all you need out of this. This is, to me, if I was rich, would be my signature scent. This is something that I would wear year round. Mm. But it's just a beautiful blend, I mean. For the first fragrance that I have got my nose on from the house, the blend was like next level. Cause you can get a little bit of everything in the fragrance. You get a little bit of the oud. You get a little bit of everything. It dries down to me to be this woody oud leather tobacco with some vanilla. And that's really, really nice when the vanilla comes out in the dry down. I mean, you got sandalwood. You, you got a lot of woods in here. You've got animalics. You've got tobacco, and the tobacco is really high, a high level, high level note. You can tell that they're using this. But building this on a base of an ambergris tincture is definitely game changing. And um, I'm not sure if a lot of perfumers are doing that, to be honest, but it, it definitely makes the fragrance uh, shine and really gives it a different taste. And the backbone on this fragrance is, is, is amazing. So that's just a quick review from the house of Insar Oud. Definitely enjoy this fragrance. If you've gotten your nose on EO1 number one, definitely let me know. Uh, he sent, they sent me some samples. I got a uh, Atar Sultan leather, maybe the best leather I've smelled. Mm, it's kind of pricey. I think it's like 265 though for like three grams. But man, it is so so good. You talking about a leather frag, a leather Atar? That's 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 crazy. Uh, EO, EO2 number two uh, is one I'm also looking at and Tiger Lust. So I kind of got my eyes on the house of Insert Oud and I appreciate them sending me some samples. I think they send samples with every order, but shout out to them. If you can, like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. Tell me if you've gotten your nose on EO1 number one from the house of Insert Oud. If you have, tell me if you like it. If you don't like it, tell me that also. Uh, if you woke up today, you're definitely winning. Wash your hands, wear a face mask if you can. Get out there and get active. Do some running and try to eat healthy. Take your multivitamin, take your some vitamin D, all the stuff you need to try to stay healthy in these times. I love you guys and I'm out. Peace.